just to like see like the keys he's playing what the keyboard is using the synths in the background the speakers they were using oh yeah yeah. i yeah. love watching like, all that that's why i like watching like old producer vlogs of like them and like, not even vlog it wasn't even called vlog back then just favor turn that turn that microphone like shotgun towards you because you there you go you always talk like on top of it sorry because i'm big man big homie stop carrying cash i'm the big homie Thought I was rich. rich. Tell him I'm a rich, rich homie. homie. <laughs> come on, man. Come hey, on, but, but we, we got to bring that back. What is it? Remember we used to oh, come in like singing shit? the quotes? That's one yeah. right there, though. We got it. All right, bet. All right. We're back. Episode 33 in this mother effer. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we're keeping it PG now. I'm never going to cuss ever again. I'm trying not to. You know? Yeah, I try. Every episode, I try not to. You know, because uh, just like, uh, I know, Mama, I know you wanted a record. With no cussing in, but I still got to do this. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, but yeah, well, we just got off of a, a live stream on yep. on uh, Hunger's um, Instagram. YouTube. Or YouTube, my bad. Yeah, yeah he was on YouTube. Um, we just asked for some questions. We try to we try to do that uh, probably every... We try to do every week, but sometimes... Yeah. We, it depends if we already have topics planned out. Yeah. Because so, sometimes we have some topics, sometimes we don't. Yeah. Like I have... During the week, I write some stuff down. He'll write some stuff down. We'll talk about some current music stuff. Um... And then we write stuff down. But yeah, anyways, uh, episode 33. I'm just gonna remind you guys right now, subscribe. Because yes. we're trying to hit we're doing pretty we're doing pretty good, man. But we're trying to get to that thousand sub- subscribers. Get that uh Hunger Force exclusive Dicky uh ad. <laughs> what Dicky ad? The collaboration yeah. and shit? Yeah, we're gonna get a Dicky's ad. Damn, well hopefully shit. I mean, uh hit that subscribe and shit, because like um I'm just waiting for it to really jump, you know what I mean? Um I guess, like, it's not really a good segue and shit like that, but, like, I think this is, like, a good segue because, like, I remember when I started, like, my YouTube uh, channel and stuff like that, was there, like, a jump when you just, like, started getting, like, crazy amounts of subscribers or was it, like, uh, you know, like... Yeah. So it was it was a big-ass jump. Oh, 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 my bad. I, I, I thought you meant, like, I was just saying yes, like, what you were saying. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but I would say yes. I'll just, I'll take it from here, but, like... I would say it started to change when I started making Larry June beats. Oh, okay. Gotcha. gotcha. Once I started going to that, then it was like, I was getting like, at the time, I was getting maybe like 10 subscribers a month. Oh, okay. And then it went from that to like 100 subscribers a month when I go to like Larry June stuff. Mm. When I started uploading consistent Larry June beats. Gotcha. Gotcha. Because I started off with like the gonna. Okay. So when I started off making beats, right, we'll talk about like, we're kind of talking about our YouTube come up a little bit. Yeah. When I first started doing, um, YouTube really uploading consistently. Yeah. I, I was doing like the Gunna, the Wheezy, the Young Thug, the, the all the trap beats like that. That's what I started off doing because I seen everyone on YouTube doing these that were getting thousands and thousands of views. Yeah. Any big producer that was on BeatStars was getting money. Any like, um, they were all getting money from that. Like, internet money, Taz, like, you know, Taz Taylor, Nick Mirror, they're all making like the trap stuff. And I was like, well, that's where the money's at. Let me go. Let me try to like do something with that, you know? Yeah. Um, and I was really, like, trying to figure out, like, but this whole time I would listen to Larry June. But I don't know why I never thought about making Larry June beats. Isn't that weird? Yeah, very it's weird. It's weird, right? Yeah, yeah. And, like, um, I don't know I don't know what it was. I just never really made Larry June beats. I, like, love Larry June. I love listening to Larry June, like, all the time. But for some reason, in my head, I thought tight beats were, like, only for, like, Gunna and we Like, all these big dudes, you know, like, on the radio. Like, oh, yeah, I, I, don't get know, you, I, I don't get know you, how to explain you. it. But, like, I thought that's where, like. That was it. Like that's only like type beats that were out there. Like that's where the money. Was that's at. where the money's yeah. at, and I'm gonna go do that. You know. Gotcha, gotcha. And I was like, okay, I, I, I'm down to make 100k off YouTube beats. You know, and that, that's that's what these dudes are promoting pretty much. Like they do that they do. Gotcha. I'm gonna go. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go do that. That was like one of the early formulas. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So Especially I, like I started with shit. And stuff yeah, like exactly. Yeah. J Cole's a big one. Mm-hmm. Um, like the soul sample freestyle beats and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah. So I started doing like the, the Gunna stuff. Uploaded like probably like, I don't even know, like two, three hundred beats of just gonna you you unk the wheezy i uploaded five days a week for like a i think four or five months and i was like you know what i'm gonna do this every day so then i just Mm. did every day for like six months so i did and and total for like the first year of me on youtube was like all like gonna young thug beats gotcha and then or maybe eight months and then i started putting in a larry june beat here and there you know gotcha gotcha. you know what let me try it you know let me try to do some stuff that i think because i really liked larry at the time i just didn't make his beats i don't know what it was gotcha so then I started making Larry June beats. And at this point, I was probably like a two, three hundred subscribers just from the gun of stuff. And then, um, and I thought some of those beats were kind of good, but some of them were kind of like, all right, whatever. It's kind of hard to like 
be separate in those in that genre. I feel like. Gotcha. Um, and so I got the Larry June stuff, and then that's when I was like, okay, I'm getting like 60, 80, 100 like subscribers a week. I started getting more views on those videos. I started like. That's when I was like, okay, well, like, and I, and then I started looking up like the Larry June to uh, produce like who's making beats and stuff yeah i found like you and mike d idea who big boy tracks uh who else is like um black cat black cat um, for sure yeah yeah i was just seeing all these people right that i like from the beginning pretty much yeah and i was like damn like i was like i started listening to them i'm like okay these people are cool and then i started hitting you guys up and stuff like that you know mm. and, and um yeah so i just started doing that and um it took me a long time to sell like my first ever beat out of that I sold that was on you that I had a beat on YouTube was this, was a Mo Bamba a Sheck West type beat. <laughs> I'll never forget it. I made thirty bucks. I, I was at Chipotle because I worked at oh, Chipotle. Cool. I made thirty bucks on a for MP3 lease, and I was like, dude, I just sold a Sheck West type beat, the only Sheck West beat I have on my YouTube, and I and I sold the lease. You know, yeah. I was tripping out. It was it was crazy, and I was like, damn, like what the hell? And then um. I don't know what it was that I, I just stopped making like the gunner stuff. I was like, you know what? Honestly, what it was is like I didn't enjoy it. You know, I was yeah. I just did it for like trying to blow up on YouTube. That's what I was trying to do. I'm not even lying. I'm very serious. I'm very honest, right? And like, and then I started doing the Larry June beats, and I'm like, bro, this this is a no brainer. Why didn't I start doing this from the beginning? You know, like just make beats that like I thought were fun. I liked making the beats. I like listening to Larry. I like the Larry June. I'm a huge Larry June advocate. I'm wearing literally his fucking merch right now. Like. I just something about listening to him was like I just felt happy, good, nothing could go wrong, and I feel like motivated every day I listen to him. And like especially back when I was living in the Bay, right? And I'm like, damn, he, all the shit he's rapping about, I'm out here, like, you know, like I don't know how to explain it, but like it was like we have the Bay Bridge, you know what I'm saying? Like all this, all the stuff that he was saying, and I'm just there. I think that's an an added extra like motivation, and because I was home away from my family, and you're just like listening to that on the grind on the Bart. On the Muni, on like commuting to work to school, boom, back and forth doing this, and you're like, and then you just hear, dun, 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 dun. you know, like just, I don't know what it was. It was just, it just felt good listening to Larry. So I was like, man, let me just fuck, let me just make make these Larry June beats, man. And then that's that was it. I just, and I just stuck to Larry June beats, and that was it. And that was it. I just kept going. Gotcha. And I went from like 200 subscribers on the Gunna stuff to now. You know, at two thousand subscribers to like with the Larry June stuff, so mm. I don't have that Hunger Force exclusive uh, reach yet. But yeah, <laughs> it did. It, I, I felt I did the right choice because I started doing something I, I actually really like. I I I liked making beats already, but then I went to something I really loved in the Larry June beats gotcha, so specifically. Gotcha. So then gotcha. that's what really that's what that's a tip I'll give is like you know just do something you really love. You know? Something like, you feel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 Everyone likes making beats. Yeah. But what do you love making? You know, what type of stuff do you like? Do you love making, and then put make that your craft? Love making, yeah, for sure. Like, uh, yeah, like I think, uh, I think I speak about that like a, a few times before and shit. Like, um, uh, I've always just kind of made like what I like to like listen to and shit like that. And even then, even back then, it was just Dom Kennedy shit. You know what right. I mean? And then fucking the uh, resurgence of fucking Larry, obviously going to like the next level, and then, um. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty much it, you know what I mean? Just, like, those early albums and stuff, and then, um, you know, Carter was always one of my favorite producers, and him catching on, and then them doing Mr. Midnight, and that shit kind of... Mr. Midnight really changed, like, a lot of the shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, especially, like, the, even, like, the earlier projects, like, if you were hip to it, you were hip to it and shit like that, Um, but, uh, you know, because, like, it used to be, like, on a lot of, like, two dope boys and, like, world star hip-hop and shit like that, and, like, I've told the story before, like, a bunch of times, but... Like, I got hip to Larry off of Cousin Stiz's song. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you know who Cousin yeah, Stiz is and I shit. But yeah. I know his cousin. That's their cousins. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Um, but, yeah, that's how, like, my YouTube pretty much started. But I, same thing, too. Like, I mean, we talked about it kind of in the last podcast and shit, too. But I was making, like, a few J. Cole-type beats just because, like, um, you know, I had got, like, some of these soul samples. And, like, I can make that shit. It's just right. easy. You feel me? Like, that's not really difficult for me to do. But then I was just making Dom Kennedy shit, and then I uploaded one Dom Kennedy shit, and then it took off, and I'm like, oh, say less. Like, and as soon as that like kind of took off, I was like, well, I'm just gonna put all my West Coast shit that like I really fuck with, like all the player shit, like all the cool, the cool guy shit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just gonna put it out there, especially like the currency shit, like that. Currency was like always a big influence and shit. And then uh, I was like, well, I'm just gonna upload it, and then people started giving me a lot more feedback 
over the J. Cole stuff. And I'm like, ah, well, cool. Because, like, I fuck with J. Cole and I like his music and I like the beats and stuff like that. But my heart wasn't really in it. My heart was into, like, West Coast shit always. And that's kind of how the channel took off. Yeah. But do you remember, like, your first beat that took off? I, I think you said the last podcast. Yeah, uh, Pulling Up, Dom Kennedy type beat. Yeah, that was the one. You know, because, like, everything before that was getting, like, I was excited when something got, like, 100 views. You know what I'm saying? It was like, damn, this shit got 100 views. But, like, yeah. back then it was, like, 75 views. And then, you know, a lot of people weren't doing Dom Kennedy stuff back then. And, like, the only person I know that was doing Dom Kennedy stuff was, like, uh, was Black Cat. And we became friends really early on. Like, early, early on. And then, like... But I never reached out to him until like I understand I understood like how to collab because I would see people like online like how to collab like I would see people online collab and I'm like damn that's that's tight as fuck you know what I'm saying yeah. like they must have gotten to the studio together like I didn't know it was like send him online, this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't know it was like that thing and then um yeah this is before Mr Midnight and shit and then like me and Mike became friends this is when Light Skin Cousin came out yeah and that's uh, crazy me and Mike became friends and shit and then um. I remember just sending Mike a couple of loops and shit like that. Um, I actually sent, well, I don't want to go on another tangent and shit like that, but I actually sent him the loop that we just did um, with the Javen shit. Oh, like okay, I sent yeah, him yeah. that loop a long, long time ago. Right. I even sent Kay Fisher that loop a long, long time ago. And like, they both couldn't get down on it. Mm. Um, but, uh, and that's how me and Mike kind of like met and shit like that. So that's kind of like how I learned how to collab. But and as soon as I like, realize that i'm like oh well, fuck i can collab with everybody you know yeah what I mean? and like there's still like there's some there's still people that are like my friends and shit like that i still fuck with that we've never even collabed not once and shit you know what I mean? which is kind of like odd i guess you and black you know? haven't made a beat together have you we have, yeah we've had we have oh you have okay not as much as we should but you know what i mean yeah for being, uh, like, for being from the start yeah yeah for sure me and who probably had the least amount me and who probably have like two collabs maybe you know what i mean if it's not three people or yeah, four crazy. people yeah well, you know what i mean like and we've been friends for a long ass time we've only made like but see this is the thing though too like um the first time me and who collabed like it sold exclusive in like a day and a half you ah. know? and it was like damn bro so like y'all gotta keep making beats man yeah yeah well i thought about you know what i mean like uh the hunger who come on bro like um yeah i just remember like fucking he sent me something over just like during the pandemic and uh, I laid like some mug bass line, uh, bass line on it, and just put some drums and shit, and that shit sold in like two days. And damn. We, we were like, "Damn!" And then after that, we did a few more. Right. Maybe. Oh no, we did one more, and then that one was really good and shit too. But like, we have some, we have a few more with like other people and shit like that. Yeah. But not just us two and yeah. stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much how I came up. Like on YouTube, man, I just started focusing on the West Coast shit and the shit that I liked, and people kind of like respected my ear. Okay, so if someone were to go on your YouTube page right now, yeah, and go back. So your very first upload, was that actually your very first upload or you've like deleted some? No, no, I definitely deleted some just because like I had my channel when I started, um, when I started college, like I had, I had had my hunger force nomenclature. I like, I had my name and stuff and like my YouTube. Right. And I had some stuff on there, but it was nothing like it was, it was, it wasn't like a branding sort of background stuff. It was like beats and it didn't have like the way it looked now. You know what I mean? Like if it doesn't look the way that I have it now, like it got deleted. Like, no, nah, I don't have my first upload. Okay. No, no. That's what I was going to ask. Cause like your first, okay, let's go back. Let, let, that's what I was trying to get to was like that video that you said took off for you. The first one, yeah. the, the Dom Kennedy one. Yeah. Like how did you know, like when did it take, like how was like the growth? I mean, now it has like 80,000 views, right? Yeah. So that's like a big, if you're doing type beats, right? 80,000 is a lot of views for a beat. For YouTube standards, 80,000 isn't a lot, right? For like a YouTube video. Yeah. Compared to like the people are getting millions and hundreds of thousands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you come to type beats, bro, you multiply that 100 views by like 10 because that's really what it comes like. Mm. It's You're in such a niche market that it's like crazy got gotcha, you know what i'm gotcha, saying so gotcha. if you have a beat that has eighty thousand, yeah. and i know i know you have a beat on there that's like almost a half a, a half a million yeah so it's like imagine that you know that that's yeah. crazy so what i'm trying to say is when you first uploaded that video like your first video that kind of went viral right how was that like overnight it got like overnight it hit ten thousand views or was like nah, a slow growth it was of like, hitting it was hitting like 300 to 400 a day Damn. and i think in like a week i had hit like a thousand plays and i was like a thousand yeah plays, you know what i mean like i was like holy shit you know right it had like a thousand so like even like you know like the youtube shit where it's just like 
you need to have the time and you have to have the subscribers. I had yeah. the time way before mm. I had the subscribers, which is kind of like it was sucky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like you needed what, like a thousand hours? And four thousand hours and a thousand subscribers. Yeah. I had the four thousand hours like that, bro. Like it was quick, but I didn't have the subscribers. So the subscribers took a long ass time. So yeah. I was always trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like not go live, but always try to like, uh, you know, push traffic to the YouTube so people would subscribe. And yeah. Like, as, but I, I always, you know what I'm saying? I think I've said this to, be, to, bef- uh, to you before, but like that first thousand was the hardest thousand, yeah. bro. Like it's so fucking difficult. Yeah. Even like the last like thousand I got like on, on, on YouTube, it took a while, but like it's kind of showing you where the ceiling is at, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Especially for like one sort of genre and shit. Exactly. It, takes, it takes longer when you're towards the end, you know what I'm saying? And towards the beginning. In the middle, it'll grow like crazy. You never know what's going to happen type of shit. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, that first thousand took a long time, dog. Yeah, cause I, I, damn. I mean, I know because it's. I mean, it took me a long ass time too. Mm-hmm. Um, like over a year to get a thousand subscribers. It took me a long, long time. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's not easy, bro. It's not easy at all. Mm-hmm. So anybody that hasn't, if you're watching this, and you haven't hit a thousand subscribers, like just keep going. Yeah, just yeah. literally keep going. It, it'll happen eventually if you just keep up the consistent work. But, yeah. bro, it took it. It really does take a long time. And I, I mean, yeah, I, I I didn't. You know, there's people that maybe hit it like faster than me, but it just takes a long ass time, yeah. like a really long time from starting from nothing. Yeah. And like, you're like a nobody. Cause you're well, just, you know what I'm saying? Like you're not getting put on by no one. It's, it's extremely hard. So that's why I say, I give a lot of, like if you're out there and you're kind of down on yourself, I'm like, um, you know, like sometimes I'll have a video and, and, and it, it won't even hit like a hundred views, you know? And I'm like, damn, why this beats? I think this beats fire, you know? Oh God. Gotcha. And, or like, Oh, it'll hit like a hundred or like something. And then like t- to me, a hundred, you know, like, isn't that good for me, a good video, a uh, beat in my Obviously, everything's opinionated, right? Like, I think the beats fire, right? But like some people might not watch it or whatever. I don't know what it is, but if a video for me gets like three, four, five hundred views, I'm like, oh, that's a pretty good video for me, you know? Gotcha. But like a hunger force exclusive, if it's not hitting five k, two k, you know, it's kind of, it's a you know, it's different. It's relative to who you are, like the the numbers and shit. But yeah, if it takes yeah. a, if it takes um more than a week to get a thousand views, like that's bad. Yeah, see, that, like for me, that if I got a thousand a video, that's pretty fucking good. And so it's like. Don't be down on yourself because, like I said, if you get like one view, multiply that by like ten or twenty. Because if you, it's YouTube is big, right? Huge yeah. thing. But then you go down to YouTube Music, it's smaller. If you go down from YouTube Beats, it's smaller. If you go down to YouTube West Coast Beats, even smaller amount yeah. of people that are in there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like you got to really think about that. T- that ten people, that fifty people, multiply that by ten, twenty. That's what I was thinking about in my head, at least, to make me feel better. I don't know, you know, because it's like such a niche thing. So like, if you get 20, 30, 50, 100 people watching you, yeah, just multiply that by like 10 to 20 because that's how like niche that market is. And then that's why like I would recommend like give people to some advice to like not quit on YouTube because it's really, really difficult to just always co- un- upload and like you get like one subscriber that week or something. It's just like I know how I know, I guess it's 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 annoying, but yeah, it's tricky, bro. Yeah. Um, even that though too like uh that's like one of the like the things that i learned like early on and shit like would even like getting views and stuff like that like i understood that like it wasn't just people who like it wasn't just rappers buying the beats who were buying tight beats it was people like actually like really wanting to listen and yeah. shit like that and like i remember i had told all the homies and shit like hey like just like that lo-fi channel and shit like make an hour and a half or like two hours of fucking uh of west coast beats and shit like that and the odd thing is like I told them all to do it and they all did it and I didn't do it myself. And like, I didn't do it myself because like I did it and like, I still have it uploaded to this day. Like everything is good, but like I have like two empire strikes on there and like they Uh, both didn't, they did, they both didn't want to let it go. That's the two times that I lost. And I'm like, well, there's no way that I can upload this shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Cause like, I'm not even going to make any money off of it. You know what I mean? Like, so I just have to do it over again. Yeah. I I gotta do that. I've been telling myself to do that too. But, um, I know there's a dude out there. You who I knew who I know he puts like, beats out that uh he does like tight like um 30 minutes or an hour long video of worth of like larry june beats yeah it's pretty smart um mm. i thought about doing it too for a while like probably over two three years and i just never done it yeah i said it on um i can't remember where i said it at but i probably like a couple it's kind of a smart ago. thing to do though i told these motherfuckers to do it and they did it maybe you, know you do like a separate yeah. channel where like all your videos of that is just yeah, the problem is it's like motherfuckers been rapping on my shit and it's just like, well, fucking do I debate? Like, I've tried to dispute it and it's just yeah, like, I can't true. dispute it. It, it, it gets tricky, like, yeah. Yeah, it gets you, tricky. Unless you make all those beats just exclusive or something. You got to do it first, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's what it is. You just have to do it first and shit. And the next one, 
And the next one I'm going to do, but the other one, dude, the other one was sick, dude. I had like this, uh, sick ass, like a uh, in and out cover and shit, oh, dude. It was damn. so gas, dude. It was like old ass little fucking cars and shit. And like, they're all like pulling up to fucking in and out. And they had like, you know, instead of the regular sign, it was my shit. Damn. Dude, it's fire dog. Like fucking, then they got hit like two times and shit. And it's just like, God damn, bro. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah. Cause I, oh, well, I don't think single for the summer is on there. I don't think ice cream is on there, but there was like one more other thing on there. And like, I just couldn't do they it. You can get ugly. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you, might make, you might have to make like an hour loop for me just on there. I think it's on there. Yeah. It can get ugly. It was in that playlist. Oh, yeah. that, that was uh, fire. That uh, one. Uh, I don't think it was like an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Because some people just want to listen to that shit, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Damn, twenty five bucks. Is it me and you? We just sold them. Mm hmm. God damn it. Come on, man. Give me my thirty percent, man. Come on. It might have been you. Did you get the no? I didn't get no notification. No, that wasn't you then. What the fuck? Oh, I thought it was me. So it wasn't me. No. Damn it. Sorry. God damn it, man. Now I'm going to need a cut of that because you just fooled me. <laughs> we got another We got another clip or what? No, we still got like 20, 10 minutes. Oh, we do? Yeah. Okay. I, I have some shit I want to talk about then. It is with one. Airhead rope. Hey, those are actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. But It was better after the energy drink. N- no, nah, that the orange one kind of throws me off still. I'm not going to lie. Oh, okay. We're talking about Airhead, some candy, some rope candy I bought mm-hmm. Airheads. i never seen it before, so I bought it. Um, okay, here's the one we got from the Instagram Live or YouTube Live that someone asked. Do you cook up in the night, in the day, midday? Are you up at two, three a.m.? What do you, you know? What's saying? What's the, what's the, what's the cook up schedule like? Mine? Yeah. My, I'm a dude. I'm a morning person. I think I, uh, I prefer to cook up in the morning. Like I feel like uh, my beats always sound better when I knock it out in the morning. But like you know, just with the scheduling, and sometimes like when I come home tomorrow, like it's gonna be like already like four o'clock. Like I don't mind it, but like I'm already kind of like fatigued and tired. Like I rather. I rather all my energy go toward the beat in the morning, like first thing first, like with all of like my cognitive responses and all that shit, and or with however you say it. But I rather cook up in the morning, first thing in the morning. It could be six a.m. Like I have to wait till like nine a.m. before I can crank my shit up. Yeah, like, I'm a I'm an early morning cooker, bro. Right. First thing first, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for me, I would say it's hard because I work during the day from mm-hmm. like five to you know one. So it's like, well, unless I'm getting up at three a.m., you know what I'm saying, or yeah, you know, no. two a.m. getting to it. <laughs> Which if you have to, if some people might have to sacrifice and do hey, that, if you, you know you, you got you kids, yeah. family, you yeah. know, I understand that, you know. But so for me, um, I'm like a midday c- like uh, cooker, you know. what I'm saying like Afternoon. I clock I clock in at one, you know. what I'm saying oh, okay. I gotcha. I, th- I got the grill warmed up, you know. I throw down, <laughs> I lay down that steak, and then uh, I get that bitch medium <laughs> rare, you know. Uh, but now I cook around like one p.m. probably anywhere from one to like seven or eight. Okay. Um, I put my shift in, you know, get my uh, minimum wage done, and then yeah, not bad. work out. But yeah, that's pretty yeah. much what I. That's my schedule. Um, but on the weekend, it changes because that week I don't work Saturday, wow. Sunday. Um, so then I will, I'll probably I probably load up a, a FL like at six seven. It depends if there's like a soccer game I want to watch. So it depends. Yeah. Uh, maybe like six seven a.m. You know, maybe yeah. even later because my parents don't like. I live with my parents, so like they ain't trying to hear that shit slapping at seven a.m. You know, uh, my dad's gotcha. watching some, the TV and then gotcha. hear the fucking floor rattling from the sub at seven a.m. He ain't trying to hear that shit. <laughs> no, it's um, fucking annoying, especially you, you know. Well, how my mom and dad are early birds, so they're up like at five a.m. Yeah, so. me too and shit. You know how annoying like beats are if you don't make beats. Yeah, like, yeah, dude, nah, it's so fucking. I would hate most like my parents. Ever, I'm yeah. thankful that they, you know, they probably yeah. hate it, but they don't. They don't really say anything. Dog, it's so fucking repetitive and yeah. shit like that. Like you know, um, you try to get that hi hat roll. You're like, oh my, pause God. and play. Pause you gotta pause, hear pause, it for play. eight bars, come yeah, back yeah, around yeah. so you can see. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, my, no. my dad probably yeah, beat no. my ass if I had the door open. Yeah, you know? no, 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 no. Thank no. God I have that shit closed. And that I shit's like, funny. That's a hot take, bro. It's so annoying. Yeah, uh, the, hell you know, yeah. If you don't make beats, if you're like not that, yeah. okay, even even let's say me and you were cooking up, and I hear mm-hmm. you pressing pause, play to fix some hi hat, and I'm yeah. hearing, oh yeah, dude, that's I'm gonna fucking go up there and smack you in the back of the head. You better fucking press play and let that shit let it roll, bro. Or when you or or when people can definitely attest to this you hear someone making a beat on like a youtube tutorial right and they don't yeah. let the they don't let the that four bar loop go all around again oh and they, yeah they pause yeah. it before it's yeah, oh bro I hate that, that should be getting me pissed off i, I think but that, when but, you're the one doing it yeah you understand what you're trying to do because you're like oh let me get i'm trying to get this right roll into that the right hi-hat roll you know i think i'm a pretty repetitive person i feel like i don't stop it a lot you know what i'm saying we've cooked up enough yeah, you, yeah. Think, you think i'm a, i'm pretty repetitive huh would you say I'm pretty repetitive? Cause like, I you like, mean you pause and play? No, no I never no, pause no, no, and play. Yeah, yeah, I no, let no. that shit yeah, go yeah, back around. Yeah, you let that around. shit go. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm a positive play. I'm a positive play dude though. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I let it go around a lot though, dog. Like fucking this shit is mad annoying if you don't but make beats. One thing I'll say, I do, I'm I'm not sure if this is like a tip or whatever, but a lot of things for the hi hat pro, like patterns. I mean, we do West Coast stuff. I'm not doing like some gonna trap fucking yeah, no. cyclic quadruplets, right? Well, I think that's what makes the good ass West Coast shit. Yeah, I do it by the, hand, yeah. and I do the bounce yeah. up by hand around the key, on the keys, and then yeah. after that, if I like the way it sounds, I might add a few rolls here and there. But most of the time, my hi hats are all by my hand. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I never really like do it with the with like the, I never click it in. I usually just do by hand. I've been, you know, uh, you know what I've been doing lately. I've been doing the fucking, you know, instead of like, you know, um, I would do it by hand, but instead of doing like, you know, the low patch, uh, you know, like the uh, the lower note one, I'll just upload like uh, I'll bring in the lower note one and add the lower note one, like on a different pattern. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah rather it being in that pattern, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, I like it sometimes, but I feel like the bounce is a little bit different when it's. Are you two different hi hats? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah two different hi hats. Yeah, one yeah. low, one high, yep. and shit. Yeah. I do that shit sometimes too. Mm -hmm. I feel like you get a different groove sometimes. Like you don't see it there, you know what I'm exactly. saying? But you can just put yeah, in yeah. the notes where you want. Yeah, yeah. Well, I do. I do it sometimes. Yeah. Nah. Hey. Well, speaking of uh, the grill and shit, like, um, how do you like your steak? You said that right now. I medium like, rare. Medium rare. Medium rare is good. Not medium well. Medium. Medium I, rare. Honestly, I couldn't tell you the difference between medium rare and medium well. I don't know. Oh, that's a pretty. That's a pretty big difference. I I like my shit. With some pink on there, but not that much. Not like I definitely don't like rare. You have a favorite cut of steak? No, I'm, you're talking to some broke ass Mexican kid. I never had steak like that. I have it a few. I've had it a few times with my homie. Like actually, they brought home steak one time, but yeah, I never really. I never really. I've you're had not a rib guy. Nah, guy, I can't. I don't even know the difference. Oh, okay. I don't gotcha. know different cuts, man. I don't know. Gotcha. Like what's the New York? New York is that one? New York strip, yeah. Okay, that's one. Yes, yeah. That's all the only thing I know. That's my favorite New York strip. Okay, that's all I know. So I'm gonna say that one. A uh, ribeye is really popular. It has a lot more fat in it. What's the one with like the tomahawk thing? Uh, they call it tomahawk a, steak. I think it's technically a porterhouse, but um, actually, no, 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 no. I'm terrible with the. I'm it's like just a tomahawk. I'm far from yeah, yeah, a man a when it comes steak, to cooking yeah. steaks and shit. I'm not. I think it's just a tomahawk. I'm a rice and called. beans dude. You know, I don't know. Rice and beans. That's all I'm in it. Yeah. Like Mexican rice and beans. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's what I'm saying. Bad. That's what I. That's what I. I don't really eat steak like that. I'm not going to Outback Steakhouse like you every fucking two days and shit. Bro. Living. No, 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 no. I, Cardiac arrest and shit? Nah. Like no, grease, no. I buy my own. No, buy your own steaks, bro. Just grill your steaks. That shit's good for you. Yeah, I'm not living like you, man. Not all of us have uh, a <laughs> thousand views in a, within a week, you know? You're living well. You got the Larry June on. You know what I'm saying? got the fresh. No, Larry fresh. gave this to me. Oh, okay. My bad. So, nice. Take a pot. Tell yeah. it if we'll give you a steak. What the fuck? You're right. Mm. The Kobe steak? Mm-hmm. Wagyu. You know what I do? Well, we're talking about steak, actually. I put that shit on my on the background. Everyone knows Aiden Films. He does, like, uh, steak cooking in Japan and shit. Who's Aiden Films? Some dude on YouTube that does the, the cooking steak stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He just, like, he goes, like, to the shops, and he has a camera, mm -hmm. and he just, like, films him, like, the, the, the chef, like, making the steak. And, like, oh. he, and it's, like, ASMR kind of status where, like, you can hear the grill, like, you hear the, the steak cooking. Talk. No. Oh, okay. I don't know, yeah. You just hear, like, the ambience of, like, where he's at, but that's it. Oh, cool. I fuck yeah. with that. It's yeah. a nice background thing I put on sometimes. I'm a fan. Yeah. Okay. Way back. Another two piece on the pod exclusive. That's oh. copyright, bro. I'm just I actually just sold the beat. See? Yeah. Is it me? No. no. God damn Thank it. God it wasn't. Motherfucker. I ain't trying to get you paid more than you already got, yeah, you know? Son of a biscuit. If you guys ain't here, this fool fucking lied to me and said I we made a we we just sold the beats together. No, I said, was it you? I didn't know if you got the notification or not, because I didn't know what I got. Yeah, because you get notifications every three seconds and shit. Come on, man. Right? No, uh, not me. Slight. I'm at Outback Steakhouse, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a weak ass steak place? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Isn't, what's like the famous ones? Like the Brazilian ones, right? Like Fogo, fucking... Um, I just went to this one place that was like up north and shit. But it's like... When you go to like these other places where like they like dry age shit. You know what I'm saying? Like fucking, you know, uh, what is it? French laundry and stuff. You know, we're talking like $200 steaks and shit. That's something slight though. That's yeah. something slight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the, for the little one, you know? Yeah. <laughs> for the fucking half ounce? Come on, bro. Uh-uh. You bring the scale to the steakhouse and shit and weigh it. Or <laughs> <laughs> that's how they, that's how you get it, right? By ounces, right? Like four ounce, six ounce steak. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. 
Four ounces is crazy though. That ain't shit. That's a that's a hors d'oeuvre or some shit. A hors d'oeuvre. Hors d'oeuvre. Come on, man. What else you got, bro? I'm about to find out. Hold on. I got some stuff written down, man. Come on, man. Are you trying to press me? <clears throat> oh, one thing we can talk about the, the song that mean a song that mean hunger for was just pr- uh, produced um, with Javen two nine hundred twenty nine hundred twenty nine hundred mm-hmm. get mine that's out on Thizzler so go slap that one for the homie <laughs> two for the fans <laughs> yeah that's a banger right there uh, go yeah. slap that um, on, shout man. out Javen yeah album's coming out I don't know when soon. Uh, I think soon, soon like probably a month or two um, yeah that's what I'm saying probably like a month or two oh that's one thing I want to ask because What's like um what's like uh what was like your first um what I'm trying to say? We were talking about YouTube earlier, but what was like your first like placement that you got? Like big song that you started getting like you know what I'm saying? Like how did that happen? Like what like pretty much explain your first placement, how it happened. The first placement? Uh Blast and Joy Fats. That's yeah. the first placement. Yeah. Right. But back then it wasn't That's really not bad. A- well, that's, back not, th- that's not that bad. You know? I mean, you know, I mean, we that's look back good. when you look back at it. Yeah, shit, it, it, yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but when it happened, it wasn't. It, you know, Blast was nobody. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, um, well, not no, let me not say nobody and right. shit. But uh, he wasn't popping like he was and shit. But yeah. when I heard it, I was like, oh yeah, this motherfucker is crazy, bro. Like this is gonna go up, like type of uh, type of thing. Um, and then uh, that happened on my birthday and shit. Uh, but that fool, uh, that uh, Joey had reached out to me, and I was always a fan of him growing up and shit like that. Um. Him and like Ashton Matthews and Vince Staples and shit. They're all from like the same area. Um, but uh, it happened on my birthday. I was out eating and shit, Mr. Taco and shit on La Sierra. And um, yeah, he just hit me up. And it was like the first time a blue check hit me up. And it was like, hey, man, I've been freestyling your beats all day. Send me a bunch of stuff. And I sent him a bunch of stuff. And then I sent him that beat. And he sent me back like almost like he did. We, we pretty much did like two tapes. Damn. And he was like, he wanted to do a tape and stuff like that. And then he sent me. Um, the blast record and i remember just hearing it and i was like damn this shit's fucking crazy and then uh it came out and just went fucking crazy um same thing too uh mike was a uh, he, he was like kind of like hip to what was going on he was like hey man can you put me on like a group chat with like mike d exclusive i was like oh say less like you know what i'm saying joey he, wanted that yeah me God, and mike damn. were already cool as fuck we were all friends Mike's and shit like that and i was like and i texted mike before and and I was like, hey, um, he's going to hit you up right now. He's going to be on the group text and shit, send him this beat. And then Mike sent him the beat. And then uh, it was Joey Fats and Larry June. So Mike got that one. And then I did the uh, the him and Blast one. Mike's and I, such a fucking beast. And I checked it today, bro. That shit's got fucking a lot of Won't views. Won't go? Yeah. yeah. That shit's got a bunch of views, bro. Like two million. I think it has like two or three million on mm-hmm. Spotify. Did it do a music video? No. Yeah, they got a music. They have a music video. Yeah, yeah you never seen Why it? did I not know this? Yeah, go check it out. It's crazy. It's what like, the dude, fuck? it's like Young Blast, bro. You know. What Whoa, yeah, I yeah. did not know there was a music video. Yeah, it's a music video and shit. I only literally listen to it on Spotify, and that's it. Bro, that's if you crazy. see the vi- if you the see hell? the video, it all makes sense. Like he's got like cut off dickies or drinking mo- modelos and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like cut off. Yeah. And I might have. I think I, are they are they in a, on top of a car at one point? Like is he is Blast like in a in a is there a convertible? No, 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 no. Blast Damn. comes in the part where like he's at like a fucking penthouse that Joey used to have and shit. I gotta watch. Yeah. It. I might have seen it, but I, I feel like I never seen it. Yeah, go check it That's out. That's crazy. Yeah, it's out right now. Fucking Blast, Joey Fats, Won't Go, music video. What's the music video got? Uh, views? Yeah, I couldn't even tell you. Bro. Yeah, but yeah. the Spotify doing numbers though. Yeah, it's like three million, I think, or something. Yeah, that's 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 the one right there. Let me get the exact videos and shit. But that's pretty much how it happened, bro. Which is out like fucking. It was my birthday. I was uh, getting tacos and shit. At, at this point, how many years were you into YouTube? Uh, one. God damn it. Yeah, I was like one year, maybe even less than that. Um, but yeah, and uh, yeah, probably less than probably less than one because uh, it all happened in my apartment. We used to live on the south side, of Riverside, and shit by the mall. And um, I had all this time I was making beats, and then I think we moved in December or January, and then uh, by August, which was my birthday and shit, he had already hit me up and mm. shit. Yeah. Did he? Did he? Because he said he was free since your beats already. Did yeah. he tell you send me these beats on YouTube, or did you send him some new stuff that's not on YouTube? There was a few that I sent him, and then that one, the one that I sent with, with the the blast one, is one that I just sent him that he had never uh. heard before. And then like a couple of days later, like I uploaded it. And then, like, a couple of days later, he sent me back, and I was like, damn, this Man. is him, yeah, yeah. That's so fire. Mm-hmm. So, from, that was, like, your first placement, pretty much, like, and, and that was within the year, your first year of YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Like, six months yeah. or something like that, yeah. Oh, well, no, maybe a little bit more. It was, like, eight that, I feel like that happens, that, I feel like that's, that's what's dope about YouTube, though, like, 
like people can literally just find you like yeah. like they'll look you up and like you know well before that i had a gt one too i don't know if you're familiar with gt yeah i know gt yeah yeah, yeah, yeah I, I remember I, uh, oh yeah huh? what uh, the hell damn yeah, wait did it. i know you before that GT? I, I know who you were i remember you posted about gt i was like no way this who knows what folks are the detroit boys man yeah yeah i fuck with uh, i fuck with all of them i just didn't you know what i'm saying I just didn't really fuck with you, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're on that crazy. You were on that gun and shit. Bro. I, w- I wish we. I wish. Uh, now I'm talking. Shit. We had an altercation, a video of our first altercation. Damn, I'm a squared up viral and shit. Yeah, uh, YouTube beef would be like when uh they pull up to Joe Bunnan's house and shit <laughs> with Vlad. No, oh, Vlad, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, but yeah, that was. I want to say the Joey one was the first one for sure. And then it was GT. And then no, oh, GT was first, but GT it took it was a slower burn. Mm. Like the, the blast shit came out and within nine months later, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah, I had yeah. told people like, I don't know, because it took a while to come out as well. You know what I'm saying? And then when it came out, I was telling I was telling everybody, bro, like, bro, like put it this way. You know what I'm saying? Like I was telling everybody about this dude named Blast. I didn't even know how to say its name yet. You know, I didn't know how to say his name or anything like that. I thought it was like BLXT yeah, yeah, or yeah. some shit like that. And like before that, it was like the six tape and shit. Um, but um I was telling people about this dude, and they're like, ah, whatever, whatever. And then, like, once it comes out, like, people were asking me, like, hey, man, how much do you think it would be for a blast feature? Like, dude, I got that shit, like, ten times after that shit. Yeah. Like, bro, I don't know, man. You got to hit that bro up. I don't know yeah. him like that, you know? Damn. What would have happened? You should have hit him up, man. I already tried to hit him up. No, when that first song came out. I did. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Damn, he was just... On another level at that point already, huh? He already knew, bro. He yeah, already knew. I ain't mad at it. Well, he's shit. been fucking. He's been doing shit since high school, like that's forever. Like, and he was yeah, already forever, in something yeah. in high school, yeah. you know. So it's like yeah. he was. He's already. Yeah, he knew mm-hmm. what was going on. And down he had already. his producers, and he was a producer himself. He was, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he was on. He was in good hands right there himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. All right. So that was like your first one. Yeah. So it was the GT and the Joey Fats and Blast pretty much. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, the GT was a uh, don't say a word. With Jay Sun or something like that. I think they took the record down and shit because it was like complicated or something like that. What? It's a longer story. Well, like pretty much, um, I mean, it's like a deep cut and shit, but like this guy had copped a beat for me and he like did like the hook on it and stuff like that. And it was just in this Detroit record studio or like it was in this Detroit studio, like on a desktop or something. What the hell? And he heard it and he just started spitting fucking bars on it and shit. And then like, I don't know what happened to the relationship, whether it fell through. They did a video with it. I think Jerry Productions did the video. I'm not oh, even sure. It might've been that. Yeah. I can't remember who it was, but, um, and then it like came down and like now when you try to find it, like you can't even find it type of shit. But yeah, that's how it, that's that's one right there, too. I remember hearing it. I even remember yeah. the cover of the art of the, of the yeah. it was on it was on an album, right? Yeah. 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 Like a six song tape. Or something, oh, right? dude, I don't even want to talk about that shit, bro. Like I remember, um, you know, what I mean, like uh, this is like a lesson for people and shit. Uh, we had just moved here and like I was redoing the bathroom inside like solo dolo. And um, the GT shit came out and like, um, you know, that record was on it. And then I remember hitting him up like, and then he, everybody had credit on their, on their album, uh, on their song, except for me. And I'm like, bro, come on, man. Yeah. Like, and he was like, oh, like I can, I can maybe get the homie to fix it or something like that. And then just, they just cut it because they just couldn't fix it. It was over. Dude. Yeah. Damn. I fuck with GT too. That's crazy. Um, I fuck with GT too. Yeah. Yeah. That's just fire. That record is fucking fire. I love that shit. Yeah. I'm going to save the song I want to recommend um for later don't say a word or no, for no, no. gt it's another gt song oh, yeah gt sick as fuck bro um all right uh so th- that okay f- uh, 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 for my, my first placement just real quick was yeah. with hunger force see how many y'all get the ellie dollar placement with Polly on there that was your first one yeah no nah, i feel like the other one was the one with the little blue cover no oh oh, oh you're talking about uh with c5 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That was the first one. I guess that is the first one. Yeah, yeah. and there's and there's no co-production on that one. That was just me. Solo Dello. Yeah. So yeah. that was like my first one, I guess. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. But how did I get that song? Oh, he just bought it though. He just bought it. He didn't even like hit me up about it. He just bought it and then he hits me up later about and it. And it came out? Yeah, he hits me up oh, later but before it came before it came out. It happens like that too. Yeah. I I just sent him some new stuff too, so hopefully he reached out to me. Oh, that's what you're telling me about. C five? Yeah. Well what? About sending him some new stuff and shit like yeah, that. He yeah, he had he had hit me up. I guess he was sending it. To, he, he, I guess I, I sent him beats a while ago, and he's like, "Yeah, bro, I recorded to all these beats you sent me, but I was sending him to the wrong email." Oh. And I was like, "Damn, bro!" Like, and he's like, "Bro, I thought you didn't fuck with me." He's like, "You didn't respond," and I was like, "Nah, bro." Was like, I, I just didn't <laughs> get these, you know. He, and he finally texted me, 
Because he was emailing me the whole time, but he wasn't texting me. Oh, gotcha. So gotcha. I guess he must have like misspelled my name or something. I don't know. Mm. But yeah, I, I, hopefully he gets some more stuff with him. I think he's got an album coming out too, actually. Hell yeah, shit. We'll find out. But talk about the other one, the Ellie Dollar one. Well, that was easy. that was. I mean, that's all. That's all hunger for us. I I literally had a sample, and I was like, damn. I can't figure out this bass line. I'm gonna hit up the bass master. I hit up Hunger Force. I know he got the Moog. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna be like, all right, you, uh, hey, uh, Hunger, can you, um, can you just do a bass line for this? Send it back to me. And then uh, he's like, yeah, for sure. I sent it to him. And he's like, it's gonna be 500. And I was like, bro. <laughs> I was like, bro, like, I'm not gonna. I'm not I'm gonna, trying to hit out back. You know, and I, you know, I was like, like bro, I'm not gonna pay you. Like, what the fuck is this shit? You know, like I, I don't fuck with you like that. And I was like, I'm not gonna pay you. And so I'm like, you know what? I gave him 500 bucks. I'm like, fuck it. Let's do this. And then I sent him. I didn't, I'm didn't. i just kidding. I didn't pay him shit. What the fuck? The I just sent it to him. He, 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 anyway, I sent him the sample just to do the baseline on it. Yeah. And this fool fucking turns that shit into a beat. And, he, and the next thing I know, fucking, it's, it's on our YouTube. You guys should check it out. Laguna Beach. That's the name of the beat. And then yeah. uh, it came out on Ellie Dollar's album. Or polyester polyester album. Yeah. album with the le dollar on it yeah yes, sir. yeah so that was like my first one but i don't do shit on that one you know so it's like kind of hard to you know but well, yeah. Maurice sent me the shit and then by the time i figured out the baseline i was like well i'm already you know, yeah like i had to recreate the whole fucking baseline so like i remember i remember being at my kitchen table i think i told you this story before and i had like an electric bass, you know, electric preset inside of purity, trying to figure out the original fucking bass line, you know mm. what I'm saying? Like from scratch and shit. And then by the time I had figured it out, it took me like an hour and a half. I was like, well, I've already figured this shit out. Fuck that. Like, I'm mm. just going to make the whole fucking yeah. thing. Yeah. And you don't want to send it back to me after an hour and a half just for me to put some weak ass drums on it. I was already committed at that point. Like, I already had added layers just to make it sound good and shit like mm. that. Because, you know, sometimes it'll be off. You have to add a little something for right. it to be like, all right, this sounds, like, appropriate. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. That was my first one. But then, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty, I mean, yeah. it, takes, it takes a long time. I, what, what, what can you even give advice to for people that, like, trying to get to the placements? Trying to get a placement? I don't know. Just put the best shit out, bro. Don't That's, fucking. Uh, don't dude, honestly, out. I I can't even I can't even say like what's the best. I mean the the best thing is probably yeah definitely putting stuff on YouTube because you never know it could be like some Joey Fat stuff and other people yeah. other you know blue checks that have hit us up from just our YouTube you know so it's like just put beats on YouTube for sure. I don't yeah. care who you are if you want to make something of yourself in the mm. music shit. I think YouTube is like a no brainer for sure. You're just on there. People can look you up, bro. You don't know how many people have hit me up that have looked themselves up. To find their type of beats and they hit me up, you know. For what I'm sure, yeah. Besides Larry, Larry hit me up. Well, I think um people like uh you know people have a, a different route about going about things and shit like that and like I think we've talked about this before but you know we don't know nobody like I don't exactly, know any, yeah, I don't yeah. know anybody yeah you know we don't I have don't managers we just do I ain't no I ain't got no fucking industry motherfucker it ain't my cousin it ain't nobody like everything I have is based off hard work and shit like yep. uh and just putting in work like I don't. I don't know anybody. I never went to nobody's fucking, what are those shits called? Where they're like, they do the live speech and you can talk to them. Oh, Q&A sessions? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I never yeah. been to none of those shits. All I did was just try to make the best shit and just put it on fucking, put it out there and shit. And that's it, man. Okay, I, hold on. Let's let's give some advice right here, right? All right. If I had to tell someone, okay, right, right. Let, right. Me, let me say it like this, all right? If I, if someone had came up to me, okay, hold on. I'm trying to think of how to phrase this. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to phrase this. Okay. What is some advice you can give to people that are trying to chase placements? Some producers. That are trying to chase placements? Or trying to get placements. Not chase placements, if that makes any trying sense. Trying to get placements. Yeah. Um, like, what's some advice you would give a producer that wants that is trying to achieve some placements? I would probably take that that route that we hear about all the time. It's just try to figure out somebody you know or just somebody's connection. And try to find a DJ or somebody to get close to them. Um go to all their little seminars and stuff, stock them, DM them, all that shit. Like if placements is what you want to do or like that's your main driving focus, like I would focus on that. I feel like that's the fastest way to a placement, you know what I mean? Like uh the other shit is going to take a long time. Yeah, I think there's a I think there's a few different I feel like there's a bunch of little things that's going to end up ho- help helping out with chasing a placement or getting a placement. Yeah. I would say definitely uh upload beats to YouTube. Yeah. Just na- you know, everyone does it. Cause it's just um, there's gonna be artists out there like for example, um, Hunger Force Joey Fats hit him up. 
Yeah, yeah and yeah. then now he has a song with Joey Fats and Blast. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, just from fi- looking him up on YouTube. So now that came out, and then um, and um, yeah. So that's like definitely a big tip. I w- that's definitely a YouTube for sure. And then besides YouTube, you want to link up with other producers. Well, uh, not like in person, obviously, but like if you can't, but. Like, pretty much send them, you know, do the whole loops thing. Send people loops, like do the collab stuff. Like, that helps out a lot, too, loaning these producers. Um, another thing is, and then when you do that, like he said, that's a pretty good one, actually. Like, hitting up their DJ. I didn't even think about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hitting up people's DJs that do their shows. Hitting Maybe some people just have their beats, their email for beats in the bio. You don't even know. Like, yeah. some people do that. Like, literally did that for a while back in the day. Yep. Um, And even, um, yeah, hitting up, like, the producer that, makes the beats for like a lot of like whoever placement you want to get yeah hit up that, hit up yeah, that artist like yeah. per main producer or like that you've seen him on a few albums hit them up see yeah. like you know you're, you're a fan of their work this like maybe we can get some work together let's do some collabs and stuff like yeah. that i feel like that's like a good good advice it's very hard to for that to work for all that to work you, you need it just consistency too of, you don't need to do all you need to do all of that that i just said consistently and then it'll you know you get stuff to happen yeah, well, I mean, it, it all depends. Because yeah. if especially if you're on your own stuff, you don't have a manager. If you don't know A and R's, if you don't know the labels, if you don't have imp, if you don't have all these record labels hitting you up, and you got to do it into your own hands, and you want something to make happen, then you're gonna have to do all those steps to make it happen. Yeah, but at the end of the day, too, is like you have to kind of just figure out what you want your career to be. You know what I mean? Like if you want a placement, yeah, and you're chasing the placement, then just go do the pl- get the placement, and just do exactly what I said. Um, it's kind of hard for me to speak on this because like i'm not really a go get placement type of person you know? right like i just make what i like to make and shit just i mean happens. yeah so am i but there's also the same time you're like i really fuck with this dude i want to get a song with that dude yeah before yeah, yeah. he stops rapping you know yeah, before he yeah. just calls in it's like i'm gonna do a business thing and that's it and now you're like oh well that was kind of in that realm why i could have i kind of wish i got that that's true that's true i get the whole like I'm making money off YouTube. I don't really need the placements. I do what I like doing, and this is what I like. Yeah. I get that whole thing, too, but I think in life and just general, you want to evolve. You want to get that name out there. You want to build your name up regardless. Well, I think, like, the the issue that comes up with it and shit, too, is, like, um, once you get the placement, you're going to start to wonder where the money's at. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what a lot that's of... True. A that's true. That's true. That's really... That's, that's where true. a lot of people come from, and it's just like, oh, well, I got the placement. Where the Where's my mansion? You know what I'm saying? Why yeah. am I fucking... Uh, why, how come I'm not at Outback Steakhouse with trunks and hunger? You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's just like, well, well, we're just not getting the trunk. We're not getting the Drake placements. No, well, no, there's some, there's some still good placements. You know what I'm saying? There Mr. is, Fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. But, Contract. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Huh. <laughs> Are you trying to call out? He said, hey, "You? What you mean? You know what I'm saying? We're um, gonna go to Outback Steakhouse. You nah, know what I'm saying? Once nah, the ink nah. is dried. Come on, man. Nah, what I was gonna say is like, um, but I think people chase placements for like, for example, this is what I'll say. When I got that G Perico placement, like the the actual the actual one with Mike D, yeah, that took me to a different level because people were like, oh my god, I'm, are you fuck with you know what I'm saying like you because uh, I go back I go back gotcha. I go back to this is what I'll say right like I have that so was it a validity thing yeah it's it's it, that's what it validation. is validation Pe- validation that's mm. what it is people want placements for validation and then that builds up your numbers and then in terms numbers build sales and then boom that's how it all builds up. And that's think, why people want the placements. I don't think that's right, though, because, like, I feel like a lot of people who chase the placements don't even have, like, a beat site, a well, YouTube or anything I get, like yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. not numbers that they're Well, really I guess chasing. what I'm trying to say is I'm explaining kind of my end. But I think a lot – I think – How, though? Because you do both, you know? You have, you're on, you're online. You're trying to get placements as well. I feel like you're taking the right approach to it. You're not somebody that's chasing placements. Because I'm a hardworking Mexican, man. Oh, my God. Come on, man. I don't care how many times I got to say that shit. If you really want it, you make it happen. But I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say is I feel like that's why people chase placements is – is is definitely money and, not- and notoriety and val- and validation, and that's why they get that. They- bro, you get on a Drake song, you're now like, you know what I'm saying? Like you're not, you're, just you're doing, comfortable. You just feel like, mm. yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, I don't know. I I think that's I think that's a big thing of why people want placements is like, um, for producers at least, if you're like actually in this shit, and you want to make this shit a career, is you do the placements to get the money to get the. Or, Forget the money. Make sure even if you get no money from the placement, but your your name's on it and people know you you produce that, you're gonna get the validation. More people are gonna fuck with you, and then more people are gonna want to buy beats from you. More people are gonna want to work with you. Other other producers are gonna want to work with you, 
And then they, those people, those producers know other producers that know these artists and it's all networking and that's what it all it is. It all builds up to, to you know, you're going to get these relationships you wouldn't have had before the before the placement. Mm. You know? Gotcha. Like I linked up with Mike D, right? For that, for the LA Knights. Boom. Yeah. We got LA Knights. Boom. Um, and then like, uh, I've had like other producers hit me up from the, from, and be like, oh my God, what? Like, here's one example I'll give, right? That uh, that's actually yeah, real, like a, a real last yeah, yeah. one, right? This right, is yeah. a real example. Me and me and Mike D do, drop Ellie Knights. That boom, we do that. Um, Joey Fats follows me. I got a few, few a few check marks following me back, right? That follow me and like hit me up for beats. Okay. Said because just because of that, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have, I couldn't have made that before that. I didn't have Joey okay. Fats. I've hit up Joey Fats plenty of times before that shit came out, and now he follows me because of the validation that mm. okay, he's working with G Perico. You know what gotcha. I'm saying? And as well as other producers that fo- that were like, like Dupree followed me because of, you know what I'm saying? Like all these people gotcha. that I knew, but they didn't fuck, you know what I'm saying? They never hit me up or nothing like that because they didn't know who am- I am. Not because they didn't fuck with me. They just didn't yeah. know who I was. And that's what I'm, you know what I'm saying? You got to put your reach out there for people. You got to like, if you want if you want shit to happen, if you want to know these people and get this networking done, mm-hmm. that's how it works. You know what I'm saying? Those placements help you out longer than, honestly, placements probably pay better in the networks than they do in the money the amount of people you'll know for sure for sure but i that's what i'm saying though too that's what, exactly what i'm saying is like you're not really chasing placements you're not chasing placement type of person i feel no. like when la nice came out it just came out you know i just well this one i fuck with, i didn't chase a placement i fucked with with g Perico, and i'm happy i, I got that because that's wanted, what i'm saying because yeah, yeah. like even my shit like uh i've told you this story before i don't know if i told it on camera and shit like that but like i made the single for the summer beat like two days before yeah and then that shit came out and yeah. it was on it and like i was like i'm gonna go check this out and like it popped up and i was like bro what the fuck like yeah. i just made this like yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. crazy to me but like even then it was even chasing the placement and same thing with your situation you weren't chasing the placement you were just making beats and doing your own shit and then when it fucking got placed that's when everything happened right yeah. so it's not even it's not a product of chasing placements it's just a product of staying consistent and doing whatever you want to do right yeah exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come Come on, we're just on. different breeds man we're the exact same breed no i'm saying like <laughs> we're different breeds to other people that are trying oh, to chase placements yeah, only yeah. And well, like i think that. um well i think this is another thing too i think this is a uh I think a lot of people chase placements and once they catch the placement and they realize what comes with it, then they quit. And I feel like we've seen that plenty of it. Plenty yeah, yeah, of we're times. About, I know what you're, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're not talking about like one single instance. You know what I'm saying? Once you get the placement you're like, well, I got the placement. Where the fuck is the money at? You know what I mean? Like, Oh shit. Like I don't have, but that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes like, especially like the street dudes and people that like, aren't really ran with like labels and getting the shit like, like yeah. legit. It's hard to like get your money up front, you know, get in the back end or whatever. It's hard. Yeah. So it's like you have to make sure you cat you capitalize on that placement with tra- you. You know what I'm saying? If you if you want the is is a is a for uh, the, the money is like the if people are tripping about the money for the placement, yeah. and you're not getting the money, make the money off of you getting the notoriety and and capitalize on the the, the your fame and numbers that you had. Like mm. we talked about it before. Like yeah, yeah, drop yeah. a loop kit, drop a, dr- a drum kit when it drops, you know what I'm saying? Same Promote something thing. Yeah, to get you thing, your yeah. money. That you didn't have, get, you wouldn't have gotten from the from the placement. Well, see, this is another, th- this is a, another issue that I think um, kind of presents itself as well too. Is like a lot of people. Okay, this is kind of like a controversial statement, but a lot of people think of like the things that we have. They think that they're placements. You know what I'm saying? They're placements to us, and people think that they're placements, but they're in fact not placements at all. Because like, what's a placement? A placement is from a major record label, you know what I'm saying, from yeah. a major artist and stuff like that. What we do is not really a placement. No. We're dealing with independent people all yeah. the time and shit like that. So people think it's a placement and like you could put it in your bio for sure, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this is why I, I think people get placements and credits mixed up. And they think, "Oh yeah, this is my placement and this is a placement and this is, you know what I'm saying?" But it's just like it's a credit. It's not a placement. It's a credit. You know what I mean? It's a credit like, of validation. Exactly. And it's like, is a credit a placement? That's the underlying question. Yeah. That's. No. A credit isn't a placement. A placement, yeah, like you said. A, it's place- a placement is Drake. A placement is J. Cole. A placement is those type of dudes. Yeah. A placement isn't, no offense, uh, and I'm saying this. Don't from, say no names. Yeah. yeah whatever. Yeah. yeah. People we deal with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. You, but I get that people, you need to. The credit for validation, so for yeah. sure, and it's, it's good to have I, yeah. a good credit, and it's you know the credit is exactly what it is. A credit is a credit score, you know. What I mean, going into 
okay, well, this person fucked with this person. You know, it was good enough for him. I'll fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? But that's not a placement. I think people mistake placement and credits. All right, let's move on from that because we're talking circles. Yeah, I feel like we're talking. We're 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 agreeing on that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. That yeah, that's 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 a pretty good one actually because yeah, that's yeah, the placement the credit thing (laughs) yeah. Uh, how how, we got enough time? We got four minutes. All right, let's talk about let's talk about something that happened again this the few days ago. I sent you the video on Instagram. Remember Laudiano on, on doing the the behind the oh, beat on Pro man. with Pro Club? Come on, bro. That was sick, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that was fire. Yeah. It was like a four four five minute video on Pro Club. And it's on YouTube too, I believe. But that's one of my favorite songs, bro. I'm not gonna cap it. That's a banger. Yeah, I love that song. Yeah, that's so a much, banger. Man. When her when we're in Hawaii and shit, I, I played that shit when we remember we're going to like uh the resort and shit. Mm-hmm. They're like, Hey, play some shit and I played that shit. Remember, yeah, man, it's just fucking fire. Uh, Mike fucks with that shit yeah. too. Yeah. And I, I, I and uh but yeah, he made the beat and he made the beat in machine. He <laughs> that was the biggest shock to me about all this shit, bro. Like, uh, I did not expect that at all. Yeah. And then as soon as, like, it was nice to see, like, a, you know, the screen. I seen the pattern, and I always wondered how he did the uh, the kick and the spin, so 808 thing. And as soon as I seen it, I was like, oh, I uh, get it now. Because you, you used the machine at one point, right? When you yeah, first started, yeah, yeah, yeah. you started yeah. on machine. I started on machine. And sh- well, no, no, I started in FL, and then I went to uh, machine, and okay. then I went back to FL and okay. shit. But, yeah, dude, that's one of my favorite joints. And when I seen that shit, I was like, damn, this shit's fire. Yeah, so he, I think he said his brother had done a guitar loop or mm-hmm. something for him, mm-hmm. and then he plays some the the piano. Yep. And then he does Nexus bells. Nexus bells. Yeah. That's where that fam- you know what I'm saying the Nexus bells, and then he did um a little whistle, and then he had the eight oh eight and the kick. Oh, his little yeah. his signature whistle thing, right mm-hmm. when, when it drops. Yeah. Yeah, and then he does the kick eight oh eight and the s- simple hi hat clap, and that was it, right? Mm. And the trans- yeah, yeah. and then there's like, but it's two beats mixed into one, you know? Yeah, yeah, because it goes one way for a second, then it goes the yep. other way. Yeah, yeah. He said that's pretty much. Yeah, I think that she was fire. I didn't even. I like. I didn't even know that his last name was actually Laudiana. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know that either. No. And like that, I, I, I was, th- I was talking to Hunger Force off camera. I think I was super dope that his name is Laudiano because yeah. like, uh, like Audiano, like audio, and like it has to do with <laughs> yeah. music. And I thought it was like some actually dope shit that his, that, yeah. that that it worked out. Like he's a producer. Yeah, I fuck with Laudiano tough. Yeah, he's tight. Yeah. And um, uh, what do you say about the? He had sent it right. He had sent the beat out. Or what? What happened when he sent the when he sent it? I don't remember. I'm trying to remember the fucking video. I can't remember. But I swear, I thought he said he, I thought he had sent it and like he didn't. When he first got it, when he it took a something about the second verse or something like that. Oh, that's what that's what happened. I guess the, they had. He said he he sent it the way he made it, mm-hmm. but then they had looped this one part like eight times. They or, chopped the they chopped the, the part yeah, up they and chopped stuff the like, yeah. first twelve. And exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you keep hearing this tag. Over exactly. And over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all. That's what I was trying to. That's yeah. what I was trying to figure out. I couldn't. Fucking they remember. arranged it themselves. Yeah, they arranged yeah. it differently. They just yeah. chopped it up. Exactly. Um. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. Yeah, I, f- I fuck with that beat, tough bro. Shout out Latiana, one of the best drum kids, one of the best out of LA. Fucking. Bros of Peace, dude. Out of Same Australia? thing too. Uh, was it out of Australia? Out of Australia, born in born from Australia. Uh, same thing too. Like around that time, uh, Joey Fats had did like a lot on our record called I think it's called "Fuck You." Oh man, is there a beat that's like? Um, oh, we're already going on. Never mind. Yeah, is there a beat? What? No, I was gonna say, is there a beat where like uh, you you go back and you're like, damn it, man. Is beats trash? Yeah, plenty of them. But like, it's still love on YouTube. It's still and loved it's on YouTube? Yeah, and it's still doing numbers? Nah, it sucks. I mean, it has thousands of views. I feel like, you know what's crazy? Like, bro, I remember, like, I don't know if we, we, we I don't really want to talk about it. We'll talk about it maybe next week. But, like, YouTube videos are kind of like, or like the beat thing. I, I don't know. I feel like everyone's numbers are doing, like, lower, you know? I mean. Because here's, here, here's what I'll think, right? That's what I'll say. Like, I remember I was uploading, I was doing, like, 600 to 800 a video, like, back then. Yeah, and then like I remember you and Mike were like, "God damn!" Seeing you, fo- I remember you getting like a thousand views within like the same day, bro. Like yeah. you know, like, and like I remember, but I remember like everyone getting like everyone that was like at the top. I remember seeing them getting like ten, twenty thousand views. Yeah, even like not even just literally like the West Coast shit. I'm th- I'm talking about like even like my dude Gibbo. I remember him get, seeing like him getting like two like five thousand views. Was like what? <laughs> That's it? You know, compared to like the sixty and seventy k he was getting every you know every yeah. video. 
It was just like, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't even want to talk about that much because we'll talk about it next week or something. I don't know. Well, I think the underlying thing about it all is just uh, we're in a recession, you know, and I feel like that uh, that affects everything. Yeah, well, what I, what I think, I, I, we talked about it before, but I think it was because of the pandemic. Pandemic and recession. I feel like the pandemic yeah. boosted everyone's numbers because yeah. they, they were at home, they were getting bread. And they were buying beats and doing a music thing. They were trying to push something, right? Trying yeah. to make something happen out of the time they had. Yeah. Now we're And I think now it's like everyone back to work. Everyone's like, oh, this is... Uh, not you know. making shit. Yeah. Everything's... Well, it's not even that they're not making shit. They're making the exact same amount, but everything is so fucking expensive. Expensive, yeah. Shit. Yeah, bro. Like, no. Nah. You see the price of eggs and shit, bro? Damn, yeah. It's crazy, dog. And like, you ever like, uh, you eat eggs a lot or no? No, I don't uh, really eat eggs that much. I eat eggs a lot and shit, and like I buy. I mean, like I, the, I just lie. I do, but I buy the eggs good, and chorizo. If everyone knows, bro, come on. I buy the good ass eggs, dude. Mm. I don't know if you ever bought like the good ass eggs and shit before. I bought some high tier eggs yeah, before. That's the best shit. When ever, the bro. beat sale comes in. Oh, man, <laughs> that shit is so fun. <laughs> Whenever a beat sale, yeah. No, I don't know how other people eat the other eggs and shit, dog. Like those fucking good ass eggs. Those shits are. So You're talking good. about like the whole pasteurized farm. Yeah. Fucking quadruple free, free range yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? They sing non GMO no. Gr- Growth hormone. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. fucking sing them a pun before they go to sleep and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Fucking, uh, that cow jumped over the moon and shit. The chicken's all sleeping. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, those eggs, dude, are so good, bro. Yeah. I, I, I never, you have some high tier quality. My, I think my dad said that he, they were so expensive. He just went to Costco to buy eggs because they're like so expensive at grocery stores. Yeah. Well, that's the one, that one just tastes like bullshit, bro. It's like his eggs, it'll get you, you know what I mean? Like, I'll use those for like, Stuff that requires an egg, but I'm talking about like scrambled eggs in the morning. Like I'm not eating. Hey, man, we're on a different yet. wavelength, man. I don't know. You live on a different path than me, you know. What's the path? Hustler. 15k subscribers. What do you mean? <laughs> that'll get you. That'll get you a few eggs, a few dozen right there. Uh, you gotta be a. Hey, hey, here's one tip I'll give you. I mean, not give you. You That's probably a know. Tip on eggs. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hit me. When you scramble your eggs, put milk in it. Ah, oh, I don't know. If you, I don't that. know if you know. My brother put me on that. Like yeah, when I was like, yeah. make some kid. fluffy and stuff. Yeah, nah, make some fluffy. Nah. And then when you t- and then when you put them in the in the in the uh, I make some pretty good scrambled. I'm not gonna lie, but like I, I remember scrambled s- eggs. Scrambled eggs. Yeah. And I remember uh, like when as soon as you put it in the, on the on the pan, you turn it off the heat. Yeah. And you just f- go crazy at it, let it fluff up with the fat, and let it you know fluff yeah, up. Yeah. No, I don't add the milk just because extra calories. <sighs> yeah. This motherfucker is afraid of fifty calories. You're not yeah. putting a cup of milk. A cup of milk is like 160 calories, but uh, I'm put, I'm talking about like a little ding ding. You know what I'm saying? Like a little two tablespoons or something. Well, the problem is I buy the milk. Then what else am I gonna do with it? Even if it's a half gallon, what am I gonna do with all that milk? This, you don't really drink milk, I guess. I, I don't really nah, drink, I don't that drink much milk, milk at either. All. Well, I don't drink milk. I drink like almond milk. It's like yeah, water. Yeah, too. But we never buy milk. Yeah. Almond milk. My dad drinks milk, so that's why there's milk in the fridge. You know, it takes one gallon of, of water to make one almond. That's insane. That's fucking insane, bro. Why? Then why is almond milk like not like twenty five dollars? Well, because like uh, well now oh, wait, we're talking said, about like a whole other thing. Yeah, now yeah, we gotta yeah, get yeah, off yeah, the groceries, yeah. bro. What are we doing? <laughs> I saw this. Is what happens to me when I hang out with some fucking mid 40, 50 year old man that talks about groceries. Well, I'm trying to make sure the fucking world's not fucked up when I get old, and you dumbasses are fucking drinking almonds and shit. Don't blame me, man. And we're like, where's all the water at? Look at all the almonds, you know. One gallon of milk or one gallon of water per one almond. That's insane. Insane, dog. Have you seen how they make? Dude, bro, we gotta get off the All fucking right, almond on. topic. Come on, man. But have you seen how they make almond water? Almond, almond milk? Yeah, 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 yeah. I like almond milk. I'm on oat milk. I like all the other milks, but I just never buy milk. Hey, at all. Did, uh, when you were younger, did you have cable? Uh, at certain points in my life, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I never had cable. Me and my brother never had cable. So we at watched. all. We had cable once. Okay, yeah, that's not. We mean, had a yeah. because my sister knew some someone that like illegally gave us cable somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah same yeah. thing. Yeah. So well, one time we, I, um, but me and my brother and I, we never really watched cable TV, right? We had like the basic ass channels. I forgot it was like this one channel that like inform information channel or wherever this like it was. I can't remember the channel that it was called, but they had like the how to back then, like mm-hmm. how it's made DIY. No, it's oh, called, no, it's Discovery called how it's made. Yeah, how it's made. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I remember like watching that all the time, and I remember watching. Um, damn it! How they made what they make like Laffy Taffy or something? Like oh, yeah, some that's taffy cool. candy. That, yeah. yeah, but I remember I remember watching like the Coke one. And they they said, "Yeah, we're gonna add our magic in- or ori- the original ingredient," and yeah. they don't show you like what it is. Yeah, no. Um, I bet actually the Coke. Oh, museum here's a good one. Factor. Here's a good one. Do you, do you ever seen the Magic Bullet commercial? Yeah, like the full one though. 
Like the infomercial? I'm talking about like it's like a 30 minute ad. Yeah, the infomercial. Yeah, the infomercial. Mm-hmm. Have you seen that? Yeah. When they're making the eggs for the for the party? Yeah. Bro, that's a legend. I feel like it's a legendary commercial. I'm trying to think. I think the or best infomercial, infomercial CI uh, is Or when you wake a, up at 3 a.m. and like you and like you turn on the TV like at 3, 4 a.m. and they're selling yeah. jewelry. No, yeah, yeah. The QVC shit. God yeah, yeah. damn, bro. That was. Oh. You ever seen that one where it's like uh it's like the old lady, but it's all like um it's all like uh sex stuff? No man, come you on. You never seen man. that shit? It was like an old white lady and she was like, you know, talking about like vibrators and shit. No, man. You never seen that? Oh. Oh shit, yeah. God damn. Yeah. Your freaky ass at two AM and shit, just had it on? Yeah. Oh, but it was like at two AM and shit. Yeah, yeah. Nah, see I wasn't enough. It was like Q V C for like adult toys and shit. Nah. You never seen that? No. Oh, okay. Perfect. How many did you buy? I didn't buy any, bro. What the fuck? Well, it might be a flesh lighter too. <laughs> Some slight. Yeah. Yeah. You still got it, huh? The flat? No. no. Is that shit in, in the background? <laughs> get, drink get, out of it or what? Demo- oh my god, that's <laughs> Yo, disgusting. Disgusting, bro. Come on, man. That is some shit you do after a few beers, huh? Hell no, bro. The, the little fuck? liquid death in there. Come on, bro. The mango one. Yeah. Hey, two chains. Oh, I didn't even know that was mango. Yeah, mango chainsaw, bro. But is, is it just water? I don't confuse what it is. No, it's like um. I thought it, Liquid Death was water, and it's just like flavored, and like it's like a seltzer. Or something. Well, they have all of them. It has like regular water, carbonated water, and then they have three flavors. Uh, they got mango, berry, and lime. But it's twenty calories per the whole thing, and um, regular sweetener they use like agave syrup. Hmm. I fuck with it, cause like this is like a format. Like a lot of like craft beers come in now, so like I don't mind drinking. It's like sixteen point nine, you know. And rather than drinking fucking six beers, I'll just crack six of these. I'm only up 120 calories. So it's not alcoholic? No, no, there's no alcohol. But you said something about a beer. And it's the like, same size. As, you know, most beers come in this 12-ounce format, but, like, the craft ones come in a 16-ounce oh, format. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you so mean. it's I like, oh, I'll just drink this. Like, I get it. There's one thing that, like, uh, what, like... I don't know. It's like an oral fixation type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like shit in this format. Like, that's why I like drinks and stuff. Like, I don't like fucking regular tap. I don't like water. You know what I mean? Like, I like water, but, like, it has to be in a certain format. Like, you know, you know, like with the solo cups and shit. Like, I fuck with the solo cups, but just cracking something up in with a can. You know what I mean? Like, I like, spa, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, I got myself a drink right here. Like, I just survive off of that. <laughs> Demon, bro. Hey, man. I feel like every episode there's like you can't can't even see on the camera, but there's like three cans on the table right now. They're all hungry for this. Uh, there's more than that sometimes. Well, one yeah. of them is mine, but yeah. yeah. Come on, man. That's what I do. It's fucking. Yeah, life is short, bro. Enjoy your time here. Then why don't you put that fucking milk and that damn eggs that your your little extra calories? Well, don't life... try to act healthy when you don't want to put a little milk in there. Yeah, like life is short. You know what I'm saying? You want to yeah. live life fucking fat piece of shit? Yeah, we were drinking. <laughs> we, you just said about drinking six beers. You might, yeah. What's hey, fifty? You, what's fifty calories from a little a hey, tablespoon, we all, we all, quarter p- cup of milk? We there. all pick our destinies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, right. Come on, man. Hey, man. Let's get, let's get a, uh, let's get the three songs of the week out the way. All right, bet, bet, bet. I'm gonna let you first. go first. All right, first one. Because hunger force had to do a little preparing. Come you know, on, man. As usual. First one. Damn. Bijan. Bijan. Yeah, activated. Man, come on. Me and Don Bailey. You know, uh, go check that out. Uh, he dropped a new project. It's the third installment. Uh, me and him did a record on there. The song's called Activated. Go check that out. Shout out to the Bay Area. Shout out Don Bailey. Shout out Bijan. Shit goes crazy, man. Check that shit out. Oh, we, we go back and forth, huh? I yeah. keep forgetting. All right. Yeah. Um, my first one, I'm going to say the GT song I said. Okay. It's going to be Taste of Soul. Taste of Soul. Oh, that is a banger. Bang. Yeah, banger, bro. I fuck with that shit. Nope. Tough. Yeah. Come on, bro. bro that shit makes yeah. me feel good, man. Dude, I, that, I fuck with GT and shit. Do you yeah. see as a new interview with No Jumper and shit? No, what oh, go check out? It, uh, that one just came out like um, this week. Go check it out. Yeah, oh, I haven't yeah. seen that. He's wearing a crazy outfit. You know, how GT I haven't gets really down. seen No Jumper in the while. I mean, I just seen the, the the recent stuff that happened, but ah, bro, I'm off that shit now. I haven't bro. seen yeah, it since no. the last the last interview I've seen fully. Yeah, was like the Suicide Boys one. That was like six seven years ago. Oh shit! No, 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 no. I'm talking about like OG. OG. I'm like a. I was like an OG when that came out. Yeah. Oh no, I've seen all those and shit. Too. I seen like the Letter June one, the X yeah, one, yeah, yeah. the the Lil Pump vlogs. Yeah, I, I yeah. fuck with those and shit too. Um, but like uh, the new shit, like I just don't like what's going on now. Like after this one, like I probably won't watch anymore. Like this full house phone, like threw a drink at like Adam and shit. Oh yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Yeah, I probably will stop watching. I'm good off that shit. It just turned into fucking Oprah. <laughs> Uh, second one and shit. Uh, G Preco spray bottle. Shout my dog. G, uh, Dupree. God damn it, Dupree. God damn it, Dupree. Fire, bro. Videos out. Go check this shit out, bro. I I bumped that today at the gym. That shit's mm. so gas, bro. 
I'm going to do another G Perico one then. Hit I'm going to do bro. Gangsters Anonymous. Damn. At least numbers two. You made that or not? No. All right. Man. I wish that's the thing, though. That's I think, I think that one has like Loda Gray, Dupree, and. The guy that's playing horns, right? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. That shit is fine. I think. I feel bad. I don't know. I need one more person on that one. Maybe is that Trey or maybe it's Steels. I can't remember. There's like three people on that beat, though. Oh, okay. Bet, bet, bet. Um, third one, last one, AFN Peso, fucking one man army. That's mm. my shit, bro. Go check that shit out. Uh, that shit's fucking tough. I bumped that at the gym. All these ones I bumped at the gym today when I was at the gym. This oh, morning. okay, yeah. yeah. Um, Sunday's my off day. I don't work out on Sundays. I worked out yesterday, but I don't work out Sunday. Friday's my off day. Mm. I just want to come home, drink beers, and fucking kick it. Uh, my third song would do Larry June, my guy right here. You know, you know, me and Larry go way back. You know, so I'm gonna take it back, way back. You know. Let's see. What am I? What am I gonna say if I take it back? I don't even know. Same shit, different day. Nope. Oh, I don't know then. Kelly Grown. Ah, oh, legit. Come on, man. Blue cover. Come on, man. Uh, come on, man. That's not third one. All right, let's get to some head to toe action real quick. All right, you can go first. I'm gonna go first this come week. On. I got the Detroit Tigers hat on. Boom. I got the Midnight Organic. Uh, I'm really terrible with this. What's this called? The jacket with the quilt inside. This is yeah. This is like a. It's kind of like a dicky kind of like a uh, yeah, yeah. lined one. Yeah, that's a lined joint. Yeah, I yeah. wore the unlined one last week. You wore yeah. the lined one this week. And then I got the the Pro Club, and then I got the Hunger Force exclusive dicky pants, mushrooms, and then I got the Larrys on my feet. Man, the Lak- on, the Lakai Larrys on there. You know what I'm saying? What size Pro Club is that? Uh, XL tall, and then XL I got tall, okay. Uh, the Lakai Larry's on. These are the first pair of Larry's I bought. Yeah, those are fire. I fuck with them. You got the little fucking, you know what I'm Sheesh. saying? Put them on and off. Come on, man. The Larry. sunglasses? Where's Larry at? Right here. Boom. You're Larry doing. on there. Can't even see. It's too small, but yeah. You're doing good. One of the first ones. This is the first ones I bought. Yeah, I fuck with those shit. They're kind of heavy, though. I don't like that heavy. You know, like the third person that came over here with the mushrooms on. It's been a, a really good recommendation. You know? Yeah. I just need a different size, I feel like. I'm just a big dude, man. Like, yeah. my legs are like... I wish they were longer. Your legs were longer? No, I wish my pants... I wish the pants were longer. What did you get? 34 by 32? 34 by 34, I think. Oh, god damn. I need 34 by 36 or something. Because I don't sag my pants. But I, with these, I feel like I... I'm not into the sagging shit. Like, no, at all. No, no, I don't no. sag my pants at all. I have that shit at the waist... Maybe even above the waist. I hate sa- I hate that shit. But my shit is fitted. Is my my shit is. You know what I'm I ain't trying to have the breeze on my cheeks like that. Like yeah, I ain't trying to be. I'm trying, if I gotta run, I gotta run. You know. What I'm so saying? you need 34 by 36. Probably because this is fucking like, crazy. Bro, these shits are like. I, well, that's my. I don't like them. Like like right now, I'm sitting down, but like. But you look like Nipsey Hussle. Look at this. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't like this. This ain't no. me. That's not what I do. I don't. I don't fuck with this right here. Yeah, that shit's wild. I need my Order shit. Order my be, line. This I shit have my line. Yeah. I did. This is the biggest size they got. Oh they shit! They have thirty six by thirty six, I think. But damn, I wore thirty four by thirty nine, or thirty four by twenty nine. I mean, yeah, but you're like a foot sh- shorter, and I'm like yeah, but more, even waist. I feel like I'm more leg dominant than you're more leg than body. Yeah, I'm more body than leg. And my brother's opposite. He's like more upper body. Bro, your brother is full flavor. I can't believe this motherfucker is that fucking simile. He's like, I'm no, I don't want everything full flavor. Oh, he doesn't like diet soda. That's just crazy at all. No, he don't fuck yeah, with diet. No, no. Uh, same thing too. I got the LA hat on, the undefeated shit. I got the corner store in the brown. You know what I'm saying? Brown pride. You know what I'm saying? Black love in the sets again. You feel me? I think I got an undefeated shirt under here. I can't remember what it is. Levi's, and then I got the uh, Air Max 97. Get this way. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. This is the. Uh, the duck hunting ones. Uh, the real tree. It's the real tree brand. I don't know if you uh, you know real tree. It's like nah. the mossy oak shit. Nope. It's like that white people shit, but it's like uh the duck hunters. Yeah, it's like the real. Uh, That's what I'm gonna call them. I don't know what the fuck they're. The duck hunting steppers. Come on, heavy stepper. You can't even see when I step. I know. I can't see them. Come it's on, like some bro. John Cena I shit. step on leaves and you can't even see these shits. But it's like uh, I think they're called the real oaks. I can't remember what they're called, but it's the mossy oak shit. You know what I'm saying? It's that real back southern shit. You know what I mean? If you're going hunting. But yeah, I've had these for a long ass time. The duck bro. hunter, se- the duck hunter se- step. I only wear them every now and then. But the homie was talking about he ain't got no Air Maxes. I'm about to hit you with a whole fucking month of Air Maxes you ain't never seen. I ain't buying no more shoes, man. Come Fuck on, that man. shit. I never wear my shoes anymore. I don't wear them out, so I'm stopping buying shoes. No, no, that's Why? it. 
Unless I really, really fuck with them, I'm not buying any more shoes. Uh, wait till you go on a couple of dates. You'd be wearing those motherfuckers every day. Nah, man. I just don't. I'm not. I've never been a big shoe dude. Like, I've never, like, cared about shoes like that. Like, I don't know. I feel like I just bought, like, those. What I what I buy? I bought the. The, the Jordans. I bought the Jordans because they were like the P soccer ones, right? So I just, yeah, you're not going to wear those. I'm not. Though. I just have yeah. those as like yeah. I'll keep those. And then I got the Air Max 97. No, I don't have any. The Air Max one. The well, two Air Max ones. Air two Air Max ones. Yeah. And then that's it. Yeah. That's the only new shoes I bought. Ah, okay. And then, yeah, that's it. Well, be prepared. About the oh, that's what I was going to ask you. Is like, uh, you said remember, uh, it was a long time ago. You had like some running shoes. You bought right the Hoka's, right? Yeah. With the Hoka's. Yeah. What kind do you have? I'm thinking about buying some for when I when I go run. I got the Mach 3s, but there's Mach 4s out right now. Mm. Um, I did a little, like, uh, quiz thing. Oh, on how you wanted to go? Yeah, because I, like, I have a white foot, so I'm going to need, like, a white foot. And I think they have, like, I think they recommended me, like, the Bondi. Clifton? Bondi or Bandy or Bandy 8 or something. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know you got a white foot? Yeah. That's why I, that's why I have to wear, like, uh, when, I, when I play soccer, I used to play soccer. I, I can't wear, like, Nikes anymore because I have, like, narrow feet. Oh. So that's why I went, I went yeah, to Adidas yeah. because, like, they have, I don't know, they have a, for some reason, they just feel more comfortable with the Adidas. Yeah. Same, uh, my work boots and shit, they're uh, Hoka's, too. Mm. Yeah, they're fucking expensive. But yeah. The Hoka work boots? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, they're fire, bro. But, like, comfy and shit? Yeah, because even when I was in the service and shit, like, I used to care about my boots a lot and shit like that. Mm. And, like, this is, like, a little tangent and shit, but, like, uh nike when i was overseas and shit they came out with like uh army boots and shit and uh when they came out with those i got those and like fucking uh when you're in the army and shit you get smoked a lot you know what i'm saying like it doesn't matter if you're fucking you know what i mean it's just like you get roasted you get you get roasted but the roasting consists of like physical activity oh and okay, it'll okay. make you hate life completely mm. you know what i'm saying like it'll have you second guessing things about like a lot of stuff you know what i mean but um the Nikes that came out, and it's probably like the lightest boot that we ever had. Cause like you ever did fl- uh, flutter kicks before? Mm-hmm. So you do flutter kicks. Damn, and, like, with the boots on? Yeah, and God, like damn. each boot is like five fucking yeah, pounds yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. So like the Nikes came out and shit. Yeah. And they're like fucking four ounces each. They're like the most beautiful fucking boots. So like you would get smug, bro. I could do flutter kicks all day. Yeah. And shit, but it was the best looking boot. It was mm. the Nike boot. I still have like two pairs. Uh, I might well, I won't wear them, but maybe I'll show you and shit. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, the Nike boots and shit like that. But same. Same thing with these. Uh, after a while, like uh, all the brands caught on to make uh, boots for the service and shit uh-huh. like that. Yeah, because that's you know it's either uh, it's usually cops, people that are in the fucking wilderness, or military that wear boots. Mm. So a lot of these brands like kind of caught on. It was like, oh, maybe we should make boots for the military and shit. But uh, yeah, so now I just rock Hoka boots. Mm, that's tight. Yeah, yeah. Cause I was thinking about getting some because I want. I don't want to run in like I have some running shoes, but they're kind of whack. What kind of running shoes, yeah? No, there's like some. Yeah, I'm not even gonna name them. No. What's the name? I, I'm not gonna name brands. You know, we can't ruin brand, brand deals out here. Oh, okay, bad. Yeah, bad. but um, yeah, I'm not. And uh, it's. I mean, it's not that they're. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. All right, bad. Yeah. Right. I can. Re- I can respect it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm thinking about getting the, the Hocus just to run around my my crib and shit. Yeah, I got the um. I think pretty sure they're Mach threes. Uh, but wait, if, do you wear the wide foot ones? No, not on the wide foot. Oh, my I have God. a flat foot, not a white foot. That's I heard why I was like, like, damn, is that a myth that like flat feet in the military is <laughs> yeah, a no go? No, 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 nobody gives a fuck. Man. But the 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 pilot one that when you're in the air force, you have to have like twenty twenty or above twenty twenty vision, right? Uh, That's like a real thing, though. I think you just have to have twenty twenty vision, and you can't be uh, you can't be above six feet. Wow, because you can't fit in the. You're plane. not gonna fit in the jet. Yeah, no. Well, there yeah. goes me, man. I can't get drafted in the air force anymore. Oh no, you don't need to be in the chair force. It'd be fine. Damn. Come on. Bro. Hey man, I didn't I didn't I didn't say that. That's <laughs> I said, what I'm what saying. Damn. That shit weak as fuck. Come on, man. The chair force? That's kinda good. You that's what, that's that what you used to say? Yeah, the chair force. We motherfuckers be sitting Damn. in chairs all day. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, Air Force. Do they go through the same training as you though? Like No, nah, everybody's was... training is different. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Like the boot camp wasn't the same for them. No. Damn. I didn't know that. No, no. I might have to join. Yeah, no. Just do some weak ass shit and it's easy, bro. If you told me like all the you know, all this shit is so fucking dumb. Like all this shit's all like hardcore and shit. If you told me like if I went back right now, would I go do the same exact stupid shit, bro? I'm not doing this dumb shit. It's just so <laughs> dumb. for what, dude? <laughs> so like dudes could be like, bro, we're hardcore. Yeah, like, no, yeah. this shit's dumb as hell. Bro. Yeah, hell no. Uh, that's why like even when like I always told you like I, I might go back and shit. I'm not going back no infantry dude, bro. I'm mm. gonna go back fucking in a fucking a chinook legs hanging out the fucking helicopter. 
fucking 240 Bravo kicking it and shit and picking people up and helping people. Mm. I mean, granted, if you get a shot, you're going down. You yeah, might yeah. die and shit, but those folks can't shoot for shit anyway. It'll be <laughs> all right. You know what I mean? Yo, Hunger Bar's been letting it out, dog. You're roasting the Air Force. Now you're roasting the the other, the opposing force, you know? Like, you're talking about the people who are trying to shoot you down. They can't shoot? Nah, nah, nah. They oh, stop. I think you meant the people trying to shoot you down, like, as in, like, when, the you're, enemy? when you're out in Iraq. Yeah, yeah, like, the enemy. Yeah, they can't shoot for shit. They suck. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, they yeah. fucking suck, bro. They can't shoot. Damn. Yeah, no. Most motherfuckers, y'all, let me not get into a big ass tangent, but yeah, they can't shoot for shit. Have you, you got been, the best shooters, ha- bro. Have you ever been to, uh, uh, like a gun range outside, like after being out of the military. Yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to go. You never been? No, I never shot a real gun before. Oh shit! You never shot a gun? A real one? No. Oh god damn! Yeah, no. We got it. We got to handle that. Yeah, I feel like I should, huh? Just. You know the best thing about being like, uh, no, no, you fucking you see, idiot. You ever <laughs> seen Miami's Most Wanted though? <laughs> yes. <laughs> or I mean Malibu's, Malibu's Most Wanted. Most wanted. <laughs> Where you learning that from, Fu? Yeah. G- San Andreas Dreas. or GTA or <laughs> yeah. something, right? Yeah. 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 Damn. Yeah, in Georgia and shit. Like, I remember when I got to Georgia, and we had gun ranges out here, but, like, the first time, like, I really, like, shot, like, a rifle rifle was, like, in the military. Mm. But, like, in Georgia, they have these fucking ranges, and they're fucking legit. So you can, like, rent out, like, a P90, a Thompson machine Jesus gun, Christ. and it's, like, legit. Like, in California, it's just weak as fuck, you know, because, uh-huh. like, you can only shoot, like, one bullet at a time. But, like, over there, they got, like, fully automatics and shit, dude. It's fucking sick. You can get an MP5, all that shit, dude. Uh. It's fucking sick as fuck. So, like, it's cool to do it out here, but, like, honestly, like, it'd be better to go to a different state and do mm. it. Yeah, they got better shit. All right, man. Wait, man. We appreciate everyone uh, tuning into the podcast. Come on, man. Uh, we did a little freestyle at the end just on some tangent stuff. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, everyone subscribe. Go slap uh, Get Mine by, J- by Javen2900 on mm. uh, YouTube. It's on Thizzlers. Yep. Go slap that, run that up, drop in the comments on there. Uh, Hunger Force and Bijan and Don Bailey dropped it, or Don Bailey and Bijan and uh, Hunger Force dropped a song, a beat mm-hmm. for Bijan. Activated. And activated yep. is the name of the song. Go slap that. Mm-hmm. Uh, go Make sure you subscribe to YouTube. Uh, drop some comments for like any topics or questions for next week. Yeah. And oh, I just thought about a question someone asked. Well, I'm, oh, my bad. My bad, Four. He, I'm going to give a shout out to Four. He sent me a question. I just f- totally forgot to ask. What's the question? No, no, no. We'll talk about it next week. It's too long. It's, it's too long. Yeah. All right, yeah. We'll talk about it next week. My All bad, right. Four. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Two peas on the pod, man. Two peas on a pod. Episode 33. 33. Man. Come on. Trey, Trey.